welcome, welcome to another edition, another episode of Yappin' and Exploring. Yappin' and Exploring. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Extremely, extremely happy to have you again. If this is your first time here, if this is your first time seeing me, first time at this channel, what I do for this series, what I do for these episodes is I like to go to a specific area and then just try to capture excuse the noise a lot of noise in the area i'm in today i like to go to that area and then try to capture its beauty using a certain form of photography and or videography here today we're at flushing meadow park by the cherry blossoms new york city does have a few locations i believe where cherry blossoms bloom and look absolutely wonderful and beautiful this is a location that i have been aware of for a bit of time a bit of time <laughs> i've been here a couple times a few times before I've been coming here for like the past few years with my parents, with my mom in particular. She's a huge fan of cherry blossoms. And here right now at this particular moment, the cherry blossoms haven't quite bloomed to their full possible extent, to their full potential. Not quite yet. It's going to take probably a couple more, a few more weeks. It's going to take the weather to get a little bit nicer until they reach their maximum beauty capacity. You know what I mean? but it still looks beautiful right now even though it's not at its full potential it still looks plenty plenty beautiful to get some pictures and for this edition i am back at it once again with the ever so beautiful the ever so lovely mamiya rb67 i do already have a roll in the camera i have a kodak gold 200 in here i have three shots left so i'm gonna finish that roll off that's gonna be i believe the sixth roll that i've shot with this camera and i'm gonna put in the seventh which is also gonna be a kodak gold 200 this will also be the third video that i've done with this camera but yeah yeah let's go take some photos let's go take some photos now 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 before we proceed before we proceed i just want to get off a little fit check real quick a little fit check okay come on now nothing too crazy pretty casual calm not too much spice you know let's start bottom the top we got the birkins the birkins we got the wrangler jeans the wrangler jeans got the light corduroy jacket got the brown shirt with the accessories come on come on the the shades of course gifted to me by my mother for my birthday shout out to my mother for the glasses and life fit check let's proceed let's you know now let's proceed and for this episode and every episode i've done so far and most likely every episode going forward i'm using my phone as my light meter because in this day and age seems like easily the most viable and affordable option all right try to get okay a little 5.6 action okay there's a really beautiful shot here of obviously cherry blossoms everywhere but there's a particular cherry blossom that i want to center keep the aperture pretty low and then have the rest of the cherry blossoms that are behind and in front of it a bit cluttered out you know let's get to shooting where is that bad boy i feel like i'm not getting the one i want to get <laughs> hold up yeah i'm definitely not hold up there's the okay okay there's the one i want to get this is okay there's this is a lot more difficult than i thought there we go oh that is stunning let's get the focal in there we're gonna go 5.64 mm, should we overexpose it's always better to overexpose when shooting film so i'm gonna slightly overexpose this bad boy also, let me make sure I don't forget in the middle of the shot to take out the to take out the damn dark side. I always forget, and I'm also I'm gonna want I want to make this shot. I want to make this shot vertical. I do, I do, I just do. Oh, that's beautiful! In three, two, one. And now. Once again, probably for the millionth time, one of my favorite parts of shooting film. Ooh, I pinched my finger. Oh, that hurt like a Oh, and then yeah, one more sound. Okay, two more shots on this roll. Ooh.
Whew, I don't have many concerns with the Mamiya RB67, but the one concern is the tilt because of the waist view level finder and just how big this camera is. I'm always worried that I'm gonna have the shot slightly tilted. And I do think that that shot was probably slightly tilted, but hey, if it was, it was, you know? That was the last shot on the roll. Let's switch. Gotta give it a good lick, this medium format film. This 120 film, gotta give it a good lick. Good lick. Good lick. In the pocket, and then the new film. And ladies and gentlemen, what we do is we put this in our pocket as well because we don't litter, we don't litter. Oh, let me stand up for a second, my knees are hurting. Oh my god. I'm not as young and spry as I used to be. Oh man, life. Okay. Woohoo! I felt you slipping, but I got you. Spidey senses, they tingling. Almost ready. Oh, old man knees. And now we're ready to continue shooting waist level. This is a bit of a shaded area, so I have to shoot at my lowest possible aperture, 3.8, and probably gonna have to shoot at 125 shutter speed. Yeah, yeah. If I want this picture to look how I want to look, it's gonna have to be 125 shutter speed. So. There's a good chance the shot's gonna come out shaky. I'm gonna go Call of Duty, and I'm gonna <gasps> hold my breath to see if that helps. I don't think it will, but give it a shot, because this is the only spot where the cherry blossoms are actually on the floor, where they've fell, and they've shattered and fell on the floor. And that, to me, is what looks particularly beautiful. But unfortunately, like I mentioned, I am here before, they, before the cherry blossoms have reached their full potential, so there would be a lot more cherry blossoms on the floor as well where it would look even more beautiful but at least there is one spot so let me go ahead and take a picture of that before i lose even more sunlight because i'm yeah. well, unless you happen more exploring come on come on all right about to hold my gonna hold my breath call of duty style a little bust down action oh, y'all getting yourselves a little bit of a, sh a free show all right <sighs> Oh, focus isn't right. I didn't take the dark side out there. See, there you go. Oh, man. <laughs> As I was about to shoot. Unfortunately, I do think that's probably gonna be a little shaky. A little bit of a handheld shake on that shot, but it is what it is. This is gonna be the last shot. It's gonna be the last shot. Let's take that real quick. And for the second time in a row, after it didn't happen at all, forgot to take the dark side out. <laughs> oh, I could have got the, oh, I could have got the plane in the shot if I didn't forget to take the dark side out. See what happens? Alrighty. All right, well that's gonna do it for me from Flushing Meadow and the Cherry Blossoms with 
my ever so beautiful and lovely Mamiya RB67. Thank you so much if you happen to watch the video, especially if you happen to watch the entire way in all of my yaps. I really appreciate you. You're an incredible, wonderful, amazing, stunning, terrific human being. And if you want to do me a little bit of a favor, smack that like button, all right? Gonna do the typical YouTube outro here. Smacketh that like button, commenteth your words, Tell me what you think. Tell me your favorite shot, your least favorite shot. Tell me you like my shots. Tell me my shots stink. Share, subscribe, hit all the buttons, except the negative ones, hit all the positive buttons. <laughs> Any future, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Until next time, until we yap and explore some more.